everyone, it's Bobby Joe, and welcome to my home. I am coming to you with uh, a video for an open club that a friend of mine does. It is hashtag Stamping Sunday. It is um, uh, hosted by Crafton by the Pond as well as Thelma Hall. And I am doing something a little bit different. Um, first of all, I will show you the stamp that I'm working with. Um, so this is close to my heart. Um, and this is the set. I got this particular set in, um, in, uh, an SCT sampler kit and it's quite large. It's, it's a nice size and it's got dies with it as well. I usually like close to my heart stamps. They stamp well. So what happened is that my father got me the skin tone set of Ohuhu markers. Um, now I want to expand on the skin tones that I use on my stamps. And in order to do that, I wanted this set, but <laughs> I'm not very good at it. Um, so that's why I wanted to, you know, I, I want to practice. So I went and I found, um, this tutorial and this is one of the ladies, um, images she had on her blog and it's, uh, Sarah Renee Clark.com. So it's right there. And she's got three of these sheets. And the best part is these Ohuhu markers, this set, I think it's the 24 set or something like this. These Ohuhu markers um, are the exact markers she did for each of these um, images. And it's all different skin tones. And the best part is she wrote the numbers of the... Um, necessary uh, uh, marker in order to get a specific skin tone. So, <laughs> how did I do? She says to start with the the lightest color. I do not you typically do that. Um, the reason I don't typically do that is because usually if I'm blending other things like if I'm I'm doing pretty good when I'm I'm using like colors and stuff like this and and blending those I'm just not good at the at the basic color like the base tones right so anyways I've been practicing this not even close but you guys tell me what you think but I know they're not even close but I need to practice right so anyways, I have Ohuhu markers. I have, I think the 48 or something like this. I love them, but they're not brush tip. I'm, I think I like the brush tip. Now I've learned to color with my other markers and love them. And oh, I love Ohuhu markers. They're so economical, but you get really good quality, um, uh, markers as well. So anyways, these are the brush tip and fine tip. I, I kind of like these actually. So I'm, but I'm, I need to learn how to use that brush tip. So bleep, I'm going to show you a few examples that I've been working on. This isn't, you know, this probably will not, I, sadly, I, I probably will not teach you anything, but at least you get to see my mess ups, right? So nobody can do this perfectly their first or few, few times. They just can't. It's like my blending my other markers. I just couldn't, it took me a while. However, she says that she does the lightest color first. I tried that. So this is one of them. This is this one. So I had the W G O five, the W the Y R two zero nine, and the Y nine and nine. I am not used to working with three colors either. I'm used to working with two, one to two. Um, a lot of times I will shade with the same marker 
I use, so I, I do it and I usually shade with the marker because it's going to be darker each time you lay it down. So this is the first one. This is this one. I don't think I did very well on this one, especially with the light, like where to put the lighter. But I did do her thing where she puts the light down first and then she does shading. I I don't know. I am because and I'll show you something here in a second. And yeah. Uh, oh, no, I'm I'm lying to you right now. This is the one. Okay, 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 I'm lying to you. This is this one. Now, I find it much lighter than this. So, I think I lightened it too much. This is me getting used to the... You can see how I went outside the lines. Um, the shading's not very good on it. I didn't do a good job there. This one's my second one, so this is this skin tone, and I find it too dark. I I I need to lighten this up. I tried to lighten it up, um, but I didn't do a very good job of it. So I'd like to redo redo that one for sure. I don't know what's all over that. I must have somehow the ink came off. I guess. Um, yeah, I don't think I did very well on this. You guys tell me. I think I need to lighten it up, especially the hands and stuff. I need to, like, color inside the lines as well. This is the one using my usual technique. Um, I was trying to mirror this one. I think I probably got it closer to one of these. But this is me. I always lay the, the dark down first. And then I lighten it as I go. So the dark stays there. And then I kind of lighten up where I think the sun's hitting. Right? So I this is my usual method. And I think I can expand on it using her color schemes. And my putting the dark down first and, and doing it. And I also think I have more control over the fine um, and the, the fine tip. So what I want to do when I have something smaller like this, instead of shading with the brush tip, I think I'm going to take my fine. I ended up doing that, taking my fine um, tip and kind of darkening things from there. Well, that's not the right marker, but you know, you get what I mean. I'm not going to use these. These are practice things. Um, I'll use this, like, I'll color because I'm really good with, uh, I'm, well, I'm not really good. I'm pretty good with coloring, like, in, in colors and stuff like this. It's, um, yeah, skin tone I'm not good at at all. So this is the whole idea, right, is that we're learning. So yeah, if you want this, um, she's got three images on that site. So it's sarahreneclark.com and she'll, she has her YouTube, um, the YouTube video that I watched, uh, it, 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 where she shows how she does these things. I'm going to watch other people. I've, I've watched a few other people who use my technique where they put the dark down first and then they lighten it up from there. Um, so each person kind of has their own thing and I will find my thing within these. But yeah, just the key is if you're into this stuff and you really want to do it and do it, first of all, you'll see here, swatch out your 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 markers swatch 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 always because they're never the same color as the tip never on any marker ever copic included you have to swatch them but anyways yeah so i'm going to try and um i'm just going to continue to learn and that's what i recommend to everybody just enjoy what and uh, enjoy learning and don't expect yourself to to automatically know how to do this stuff. 
um, and don't think that other people are not struggling. Case in point. So anyways, you guys, check out the other ladies that are using this hashtag, um, Stamping Sunday. I think there's another hashtag in there too, um, st st hashtag Stamp Play, but unfortunately I don't know the... Um, the host of that, but I will try to get her name and put it down in the description below. Anyways, you guys, thank you very much for stopping by and take care and have a good week. Bye-bye.